Young guy, here we go. <laughs> Money. Yo, happy New Year, guys. Mike here, Entrepreneur Army. So, um, right now I'm in the truck because I want to get off the truck. So, before I get off the truck, I want to be at the jobs, let them do the thing. But the thing is, it's hard not getting involved. Like, I want to get out, help them. Uh, hey, don't do that. Oh, here's this. Get this will be easier. But if I keep doing that, um, it'll slow the process down. So I'm trying to stay in the truck so I can get off the truck. Um, it just is what it is. It's difficult. But it's been a while since I uploaded it. Like I said, Happy New Year. Um, we're doing big things. And now, you know, I've been meeting with my CPA and we've been getting set up with, uh, you know, payroll and, um, like real payroll too, not like subcontracting stuff. We're working on that, uh, workman's comp, all kinds of things. So it's gonna be a big year for us. Uh, we're gonna be adding another rig, at least a part-time rig. So I'll have my new truck and I'll be pulling around the old trailer and these guys will have this skid truck. So that's the move. Um, also, I had some people reaching out to me saying, like, someone was talking smack online. Listen, I appreciate that because, you know, you guys are just looking out for me and letting me know someone's saying something or whatever. But I honestly don't care. Like, I'm only doing this for me because I like to watch my journey. Some of you may know I have, you know, I was involved with some, you know, not good stuff before and my life was headed down the wrong path and I, luckily I changed that stuff and built this business and it's been very successful to me. Like I said, I'm working on getting off the truck. So uh, I really don't care what other people say or say I don't know or do know, but all I know is, you know, I'm going in my fourth season. So I've been doing this three years. I'm going in my fourth season in March and uh, we've been tripling ever since. So, um, I'm not saying I'm the best. I know I make a lot of mistakes, but every day I'm willing to learn. I talk to a lot of the guys in the industry and I learn from really big guys who have multiple trucks or not even multiple trucks. Some of them have one truck, but they have big businesses. They know what they're doing. They've been around a while. So I follow in their footsteps and I'm just documenting my journey. Okay. Like I, uh, you know, I have a good following. It's not a huge following, but the guys who do watch me, they're very supportive and they enjoy my stuff. And that's all I'm trying to do, guys. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm not selling courses, nothing like that. Like, so I don't know why people would be bad mouthing me, but whatever, man. That's just how it is. It's just like with customers, you have customers who try to beat you up on pricing. You can literally send the same estimate to this customer and then to that customer. This customer will say, wow, that's such a great quote. You know, price is amazing. Thank you so much. And then you'll have the other customers saying, oh, your your quote's too complicated. Uh, your prices are too high. So listen, there's going to be people who love it and there's going to be people who hate it. It's just the way it is. But I'm not changing up who I am because of someone who's negative. So if, they want, if somebody wants to, you know, come to me personally or shoot me a message or an email about, you know, and they want to help and tell me, hey, this is what you should be doing, that's fine, but um, because uh, I'm not closed minded, like I, I, I'm very supportive of other people in the industry. I want everyone to do well. There's plenty of stuff out there to clean, and all the other companies that don't do what they're supposed to be doing, they're gonna weed themselves out. They're not, you know, they don't have insurance, or you know, they're charging 75 bucks for a roof, or whatever it may be. I don't care about them, they're gonna be gone. All I care about is me and who, people who want to build me up and people I build up. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm having fun with this. So, if, like I said, if people want to talk smack, so be it. I appreciate you letting me know. You know who you are. But, um, yeah, that's the end of that. I ain't worried about them. But anyway, so it's going to be a big year. Um, like I said, there's going to be random clips. And uh, like I said, Happy New Year. Enjoy the video, guys. Doing this big, uh, big house and roof today. Check this out. Well, we're finishing up now. Still drying.
but you can see how clean that is really wasn't too dirty to begin with but Uh, this was close to 8,000 square feet, so biggest one of the year so far. I'm talking about the final rinse. Just going around making sure all the gutters are rinsed out. Uh, I had a hose blow up. I'll enter in some of that hose blowing up footage now. Crank it up. I right, turned it off. <laughs> but yeah, you just want to make sure all the gutters are rinsed out, all the plants, you know, roof is already dry, so just don't want, you know, we rinse just maybe on this one because it's completely guttered, we rinse just a couple feet up and the gutter out and we're good. I wonder what he is. I don't know. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's a couple more. I guess I should just toss him in the pool, huh? That's what I was thinking, but I don't know if it's good. <laughs> Trampoline? Oh, that's probably what I was gonna do. Here we go. Hup. Oh, that's a hit. Money. Young guy, here we go. Hup. <laughs> Money. Two for two. Oh, Looks like his arm or something. Phew. set up the uh, Tyvek we uh, so it's not always you don't want to just always just cover the bush that's not what's going on here the uh, it's dripping down from right here and it's landing right here so we're gonna put the Tyvek and center it kind of like that see how the water's collecting and it's all clear so all the runoff has been diluted and rinsed down and uh, the key is with this when you don't have gutters like this you put Tyvek down, but you want to keep everything wet. I got Mitch, he's been just running eight and a half gallons a minute non-stop on all these plants. And then he's communicating with Anthony. Let me come around this way. He's communicating with Anthony up on the roof. So uh, if you do it that way, you got not you can't you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? So he's just following him keeping everything wet this one's actually got a gutter so just precautions extra precautions but we're getting all this done and on the side where we just were where the Tyvek is there is no gutter so that's how we're rolling it but 
this roof was brown and look how bright red it is already so these guys know what they're doing um so like i said i'm trying to get off the truck and the only way to do that is by just letting them do their thing and i get to come take videos of seeing if there's any alligators down here that would be cool little it's not cold here but it's a little colder than uh, usual but I feel like a real POS sitting in the truck right now <laughs> but anyway these guys so one thing I'm noticing about them is they work well together so their communication so right now Anthony went and treated the whole roof but he's got to get the faces which are the you know what what you're looking at when you're looking at a barrel you it's got the flat the top and then it's got the front the face we call it so anthony's on the ground now just touching up any spots on the faces we're just about done and they just they work in unison together so obviously he rinses before anthony even gets started and then he follows behind them and rinses again so anything that's coming down guys is getting diluted tenfold at least probably 20 30 fold probably 50 fold who knows but that eight gallon a minute does not stop the entire time and anthony's just retouching those faces up and uh so it's just you know you got to be patient uh when you're getting off the truck but if you're on the truck still and you're trying to hit the faces this is how we do it especially with barrel tiles a lot of guys want to criticize me the way i do it but then you know maybe not criticize but they're trying to give helpful hints but here's the thing barrel tiles are completely different than uh shingles so it's a different animal but i got him keeping everything wet and anthony will not go too far without uh mitch knowing about it so it helps so this stuff right here guys um i was always a big fan of this for like your fittings like your couplers and your plugs and your just so the o-rings don't bulk up i always like this white lithium grease but i found another one at the uh local shop local where i get my sh every morning i seen this and the guy i said what's that because i seen it was ptfe i figured it was like teflon or something i was like is it a sealer or a lubricant he said it's a sealer i mean it's a lubricant and i put it on my fittings and it works so good like if you have old fittings that have a hard time clicking together, like the, the female coupler, if you have a hard time clicking it, put this on there and it kind of, it's it's crazy. You can It like collects all the dirt and the, it pushes the dirt out. So if you see, I don't know if they sell it at Home Depot or what. I don't know where they sell this stuff other than I was at um, the SH, you know, the pool place today and there it was and it was just sitting there by itself. I don't know how many they had, if this was the last one or what, but this stuff works really good.